Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Let's continue through the Cave to Round. I've got one more treasure that I want to get, so let's go do that. Now, at this point, I basically have to uh, hold on to as much of my MP as possible, or pretty much all of it, because there's one more treasure I want to get, and in order to get it, uh, well, once I get it, I want to cast outside and get out of here immediately. Now, obviously, if I were playing on the NES or something like, or, or something without save states, I'd be casting outside right now. But, you know, since I'm recording this, I have save states, let's uh, play it a little risky right now. Why not? Besides, it's not that far. I'm not going to be running into any more green dragons along the way. But, yeah, some of the enemies, well, they're not going to be too tough. Uh, basically, what I'm going to have to do in order to stay alive now is do a lot of parrying and swapping around that uh, shield of strength to do my healing, because I can't afford to heal at all. Gwen doesn't have enough MP to even cast a single heal more spell. If only there were a way I could swap my MP around from character to character, but I can't. Not in this game, anyway. Okay, alright, we're still in pretty good shape. I mean, if I were, like, gonna run into more green dragons, I'd be a little worried. But these guys aren't that hard, so I, I wouldn't worry about it. But I do want to swap around that, uh, shield of strength. Let's see, um, let's, or, uh, wait a minute, I got the keys. I don't need those. Let's just, uh, give that to Gwen there. And give the shield of strength to Lodo. Now, I'm doing this on screen just to show you that I'm doing this... 100% legitimately. I'm not using save states or anything to, uh, you know, possibly alter w what I'm doing here. Why didn't I use the Shield of Strength? I forgot. I guess, I, and that would have been a good battle to do that, too, because it was a Berserker. One enemy, but, ah, uh, whatever. We're not that far from the last treasure that I want to get, so we should be all right. Okay, now we're up to the fourth floor. No green dragons. Um, run! Woo! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, an attack bot. Oh. Well, it must be my lucky day. Finally, after making up for all the bad luck that I had today, let's go down here. And whenever you get into this room, head to the lower left corner. But yeah, uh, I had a bit of bad luck today because well, my power went out today. So, I was without power for about three or four hours. Nuts. Nuts! Um, yeah, just parry, you guys. I'll have Lodo heal himself. Well, next. Yes, alright, we took one out. Come on, Lodo. Uh, where is it? Shield of Strength? Um, yeah, well... Yeah, you should attack, just to weaken it in case Lodo can't finish it off. Um, yeah, use the Shield of Strength again. Use it again. But yeah, so my power went out. Uh, fortunately, I have a, a $200 battery backup for uh, all my computers and everything. Would have been funny if my power went out while I was recording. Heck, it might go out again. It went out earlier today, too. But uh, yeah, if like, the power went out while I was recording, and then I could, I would have probably freaked out. Like, whoa, what happened? The power went out. But then a whole bunch of you guys would be like, wait a minute, if the power went out, how are you still recording? So I'd have to explain that and drop down here. Okay, there it is. Come on. Yes! I made it! Okay. And we get the Thunder Sword, the strongest sword in the game. Er, well, there's one more that's stronger, but, well, maybe I'll explain that if I get lucky enough to get it. You have to win it from an enemy, but uh, this is the best sword in the game. I think it casts, I don't know if it's Infernos or one of those spells, whatever it is, that multi-targets damage. Oh, by the way, Erdrick's armor also protects against all barriers. Swamps, lava, you name it. Just like the uh, water flying cloth. So that's pretty nice there, too. Nuts. Okay, well, I'm surprised I made it out so easily, but, well, there we are. Nuts. Should have used the shield of strength. Well, we should be fine. Come on, make it. Get back there. I don't have a return spell or a wing of the wyvern. Yes! Woohoo! Made it. But yeah, I'm protected from that barrier, so I'm okay. 
All right, well, we made it back in one piece, so now what I'm going to be doing is, or if I can open this door, there we go, I'm going to uh, rest up at the end. Screw it, I don't care. Oh, yeah, let's uh, revive. How much does it cost, Gwen? Yeah, it costs 20 gold times your level, or multiplied by your level, so there we are. And we almost have enough gold to get a uh, shield of strength, so I'll probably get a second one for uh, Gwen there, so that way Orpheo and Gwen will have it. I'll show off the uh, Thunder Sword in just a moment, viewers, but I want to rearrange my equipment. Okay, well, there we are. No uh, problems or anything. Okay. So, yeah, Gwen died from the barrier there. I guess the water flying cloth doesn't protect against that. Well, there we are. But anyway, yeah, let's just rest up here, and I'll meet you back at Osterfair, because there's something I want to do with all those crests now. All right, we're back at Osterfair here. I've taken care of everything that I need to do. Uh, some other things that I've done since I was, uh, well, traveling on the way here... I uh, got another Leaf of the World tree, and I bought the Shield of Strength for the Princess, and so now she has one, and I uh, gave uh, the Shield of Strength back to Orpheo for him to equip, of course. And uh, I got rid of most of my keys, except the Jailer's Key, because that's the only one we need now for the remainder of the game. And once I get uh, through Baran, I'm going to get rid of that anyway. And also, I got the Thunder Sword there for Loto. I forgot to equip it earlier, so let's show that off. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's the strongest, uh, well, not the strongest, but the best sword in the game for him. You still want to hold on to the light sword for later, though, viewers, uh, for casting surround for free. So anyway, uh, normally what I like to do when I'm going to Realm is, I, I didn't get to uh, walk out of there, but what I like to do is, if I don't get ambushed by green dragons, I like to go through there to get all the treasure that I did, and then walk out. That's my first trip. My second trip, I'll be going straight through the end to Rome. Now anyway, we want to go to this shrine here. Some people were telling us to go here earlier. Something with Rubus here. And something with the five crests and with Rubus as well. Hmm. I wonder what they're talking about. Well, let's find out. How many stairs are there in this place? Ah, there we are. Okay, well let's see what happens. Who's that? Are you related to Tim the Enchanter? No. No. Just kidding. Ooh, your charm. Huh. Huh. Well, what? What happened? I still got my crest. What charm are you talking about? Ah, the charm of Rubus. Yes. Remember what they were telling us about with Hargon's castle with that later? Well, we'll be putting that to use when we get there. So, yeah, you have to get the five crests in order to get the Charm of Rubis in order to, well, in order to complete the game, really. So, okay, so that's what I did here. So now that we're done with that, I'm going to head back to the Cave to Roan. And just to save you some time, I'll meet you back on the, at the end of the third floor of uh, the Cave to Roan. So that way I don't need to show you me going all the way up there again. It'll be much easier anyway. I don't want to edit out all those battles again. So I'll just meet you over there then. All right, we're back in the cave to Rome, so let's make it through to the other side. We should be in much better shape than I was last time because now I have near max HP and MP, so let's make it on through. Now, walk around exactly as I am or you will run into hidden pitfalls here and fall all the way down. Might as well run from this battle. I'm not gonna kill any of those metal babbles or those healers for that matter. I wonder if heal would work on metal babbles. Nah. Now this is the sixth and final floor, but it is the most bastardized floor that I have ever seen in RPG history. Because, and we got a silver baboon, but it's just one of them. Uh, they can breathe sweet breath or whatever it is they do. But yeah, the problem with this floor is that whenever you do a room transition, it teleports you, without your knowledge, to somewhere else in the floor. Now, there is a definite pattern to this, and if you use a map, you'll be fine. But if you're not using a map, and you're playing this on the NES without the internet back in 1990, then you're going to be in a lot of trouble, because it'll just keep on teleporting you around over and over somewhere around the floor without your knowledge, and you would never know. You'd be trying to make a map, and it'd be like, 
but what the hell is going on here? I don't know how you would map this place out with graph paper. Holy cow. But fortunately, I'm just going to show you the right way to get through here. Not to mention some of the hardest enemies in the game are here. If you thought the fifth floor was hard, if you thought the enemies couldn't possibly get any harder, you would be wrong! Ha <laughs> Well, so far I'm running into the easy enemies, so we're okay so far. Um, yeah, exploded. Uh, Berserkers have no resistance to fire, so we're fine. We're fine. Nuts. Okay, well, we would be fine if I could actually hit the enemies. But, since I'm not today, yeah, let's use the uh, Staff of Thunder! Shove a lightning bolt up your ass! There we go. And uh, heal all on Loto there. Ooh, the giant hammer! Alright, there we go. Yeah, gotta stay at max, or very close to max, like over 100 HP at all times. Well, Princess is close enough, but whatever. Holy crap, more green dragons! Um, let's see, let's go Firebane and explode it. That'll definitely kill the, uh, the Berserkers there. And maybe I'll take down some green dragons while I'm at it? Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, yes, die, green dragons, die! <laughs> You're mine this time! Yeah! How do you like it? Oh. Well, okay. Well, it gives me a chance to use my shields of strength. So, there we are. Shield of strength, shield of strength, attack. Yes! Woohoo! Alright. Okay. So far, we're doing pretty darn good. Uh, the enemies will get harder as soon as we get to the other side. Uh, let's see. We want to go up from here and... Oh, yeah, it's the same guys as before. I, I'm not excited. Nah, nah, that, that's okay. It's funny how my fiancé, my brother and I, and some of my friends, how we get upset. Yeah, you know, my, my friends in real life, they just swear a lot. My brother, when he ever is playing a game and he gets upset at something, he's like, damn it! And whenever I get upset, I'm like, game? Well, you know that, right, viewers? Whenever my fiance gets upset, whatever game she's playing, like she's playing the new Super Mario Brothers, she's always like, no. <laughs> it's just the cutest thing, the way she says it. It's like, she's so sincere when she's like that. I don't know. Well, we're doing pretty good here, so uh, let's see. Wow, we're almost at the end here. Well, today must be my, well, it's getting luckier all the time. I was going to say my lucky day, but... I had the power go out on me today. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. The exit. Yes. No, no. Actually, we are a long way from uh, from victory yet, viewers. You can go through that dungeon an hour long through it and still get killed off before the final save point. Oh, there it is. There it is. No. Three Cyclopses. Crap. No. Now they ambushed me. I can see the final save point. It's within my grasp. That's so not fair, game. Uh, yeah, gotta use a shield of strength. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Uh, I'm even having low toe parrying. I, I don't care. I don't care. Just make it through. These guys can get critical hits on you. They can hit twice per round. No. Uh, okay, heal or attack. Yeah, heal the bad guy. That's great. Now, uh, explode it. Come on, I'm almost there. Oh, come on, game. Please let me make it there. Oh, I can make it. Okay, okay. We kill them, we kill them. Just, uh, yeah, heal up to max. We are almost there. Almost there. Come on. Okay, heal all. Uh, it's within spinning distance, but we are light years from it, viewers. This game will do everything to try and ruin your day. No. No, not the bowl long. My neighbors are looking at me like, what the hell's a bullwong? Don't answer that, viewers. Fortunately, you can put bullwongs to sleep. Uh, they are pretty hard, nonetheless. But, yeah, sometimes you can get fire to work on them. They've got a lot of HP. Well, they can cast Explode It on you. It's ridiculous what these enemies can do to you. Come on! Come on! Yeah! 88 miles per hour! Er, well... We made it. All right. Yeah, we made it to the final.
final dungeon, or the final save point in the game where they give you free healing and a save point here. So now all I have to do is some more level grinding for next time. And let's play Dragon Warrior 2. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day and good luck to you viewers. You'll need it.